Phil Foden is replacing Kevin De Bruyne. We are witnessing the changing of the guard at Man City. This season, more than any, we've seen the evolution of Phil Foden. Kevin De Bruyne has been out for the first half of the season. Foden has had to step up. And although he's not the finished article right now, in terms of being at the level of Kevin De Bruyne, he easily could get there in the next few years. De Bruyne is arguably the best midfielder in Premier League history, and Foden has learned and seen what it takes to get to that level, and he 100% has the potential to get there. That performance from Man City tonight was not perfect. Villa had their chances in the first half, and were probably a bit wasteful, so City were there for the taking. Obviously, they got their first goal early, Rodri with a good finish, but Villa had their chances. Duran hit back pretty quickly, and... Villa were in the game, 100%. But Foden, just before the break, gets a free kick and a little bit of luck. Zaniolo will definitely want to be looking back and explaining to himself why he jumped out of the way because if he doesn't move, that just hits him and Villa go into the break, one all. City can turn it on the second half, we know that, and that's exactly what they did. Rodri drove the ball forward, comes out to Foden on the edge of the box and he hits one from about 25 yards in off the post. It was an absolute world-class finish. At that stage, it's 3-1. The game is mostly dead and buried. The Abbey had a little chance on the break. Douglas Louise took a shot and it was saved by Ortega. But other than that, the game was just starting to fizzle out. Then in the 69th minute, the ball kind of ricochets a little bit and Foden hits one from about 30 yards out. It was further than the one. Similar to the one he scored against Man City, except this time it was going across his body and it just rockets into the top corner. And unbelievable finish two of them were actually world class today city do what they do best they see out the rest of the game no questions being asked them villa had kind of run out of legs at that stage city will feel that they'll be able to win most of their home games the only one that they, we could probably see them dropping points in is spurs away so back to liverpool now tomorrow arsenal obviously got a win today so liverpool need to win against sheffield to go back top of the table